that, you freak? Because <laughs> my mom used to put potpourri around the bathroom. Oh, okay. Mine does. It's too. like an old quaint. I don't know. Like but maple. me and I were just saying the other day, we went to uh, Kmart and we walked in. We we're like, this is really depressing. But then the more we walked through it, the less depressing it got. Well, that's because you saw toys you liked. <laughs> that's true. Kmart is like a halo, a life size halo toy. No, but whenever I walk into Aldi, like I don't like going shopping. Aldi was one that I could never walk into. I don't like going shopping because it makes me depressed because you walk into Aldi and it's really depressing. They, they look sad. The lighting like is a yellow. shower room. It's like orange and fucking. Yeah, yeah. There's like drains everywhere I have with yet black to go fluid. On Aldi. You know what's fucked up about Aldi? Um, when you walk in the door, they um, force you to go through the first aisle to get into the rest of the store. Yeah. And the first aisle is really depressing because it's mm. just all this cheap ass shit. Well, Aldi, yeah. it, it's and awesome it, in some ways because they have all their own brands that are a lot cheaper. I love the rotting the fruit that they leave out for days at a time. <laughs> I don't buy fruit there. But. I remember I used to go to Rice Aldi's Krispies. with my dad and he would give me a quarter and Aldi's? that quarter would be mine. I would get to put the quarter inside to pull because you put a quarter inside to pull out the, the, the trolley. cart. The trolley, yeah, the cart. And then I got to keep the quarter. Whoa. So I would look forward to that because I'd be able to buy shit out of the little yeah, stupid it, bubble machines. And Aldi, you could, you could a whole, you're open to everything with a quarter. No, so, wait, we were talking about AC Moore art stores, right? Yeah, AC Moore, Michael's, those. And Michael's is worse than AC Moore, I think. Is it? A little bit. What about dollar stores? You guys like yeah, dollar same, stores? it's the same thing. It's oh, just depressing to walk in. I hate my, walking my in. My dad owns pounds, like dollar shops. Yeah, in Ireland, it's different, though. They're kind no, of worse. It's not. It's, well, you mean like dollar stores? Bit. Or like dollar they're, general, they're called, like discount shops, I guess you call them. They have like this reflective tiles, like they all have these like reflective tiles where the light just shines off it. And it's just should, should we talk about the stores that are down the street in the, in our town? Oh yeah, that are just like <clears throat> like awfully placed. Let's like, bring this up. All right, so basically, we live in. I think we we work in a nice area, but, but the problem nice. is there's this main intersection. The people elected it to I take care so of the town or whatever. The they they're always trying to improve everything. They're like, oh let's let's remodel the street. The, oh, yeah. the street lights and the crosswalks and everything's nice, but they took let's talk, all right, let's just let's just break this down for a few items. First, on the main corner of the street, there's a a bug extermination. Yeah, that's, that's not only that. It takes up like 40 acres. The front the front window display in this bug extermination building is a like a bug museum. Yeah, but it's bugs that are in little glass cases that have been there from since like 1975. So they're <laughs> yeah. all faded and old. Yeah, they're all bleached they have, and it's like, done. Here's our termite display. What happens yeah. to shoes when they get yeah. termite? It's like 1950 shoes and typewriters. This is like in the middle of the intersection. This is like the cornerstone of the whole intersection. This shitty fucking bug store. Don't they yeah. refuse to like give it up? Or like they've been offered to get out of they there? They were, yeah, there was a really nice restaurant chain called like Iron Hill Brewery or something. They're like, yeah, we want to buy it. And they have a nice place. They have other nice locations around here, but they wouldn't sell. And let me, let me tell you about this other place. Across the street. This is the one that's the most infuriating. <laughs> there's other places that are shitty down the street, but yeah, there's a lot of little closed consignment shops. Shops around, right? Like women open up these little shops. And they put them like nice wallpaper Order. and what? Oh, no, it's, women. it's for women <laughs> and not <laughs> equality, Jeff. But they have like little flowery displays, and the name of the store is like some little girly name, whatever. So it went out of business in this this uh, undesirable moved into the shop. And in all my years living, I've never in the even in the poorest neighborhoods, I've never seen. A store get taken over. It's almost like uh, a squatter moved in, where he didn't even change the name of the it's store. True. It's still like it's true. called like colors of flowers. Yeah, it's called like color colorful flowers or something. That's just the name of the store. He moves in. This is crazy. It's still called colorful flowers, but now it's like the the windows are filled with like neon lights it's and cigarette lottery, ads, and cigarette and ads, lottery <laughs> signs. <laughs> and now there's like this bright neon. There's a bright fluorescent lights inside where you see all the flowery. He didn't even paint over the flowery wallpaper. <laughs> And he's like, welcome to colorful flowers. <laughs> oh my god! You just want to throw rocks to the fucking windows. You're just like, this is you do. This is a shameful display. There's a, there's another thing that always irks me. It's yeah. always been an issue I've seen with like these fucking places that don't seem to understand that the sun is actually harmful to your products. These fucking idiots who have DVDs that have been there since the 80s. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. fucking sun dried at this point. <laughs> yeah, and they have this this ugly sepiatone white and blue, just gross colors. Like oh, no man. one's gonna buy. Yeah, what, what's that movie? Um, it, it's like no one's gonna buy fucking Sandlot for the for fucking VHS. <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy. They're gonna uh, buy Sun Faded uh, National Sunlight. Lampoon's Christmas wow. Two. These aren't right. fucking movies anybody ever wants some, to own yeah, in their life. Some, you have to say though, there's a little bit of charm in those old like video stores. Yeah, when they're not dried by their sun. But the funny thing is. 
which he he has these like disgusting old DVDs that have never been touched in years, and then he comes out with like new shitty DVDs that, that no one's ever gonna is buy. another place that should be bombed. <laughs> it's, it's just, and, and that's next no, to the true. one that has all the old man toilets in the front store. <laughs> yeah. so all these big, collateral damage. We have of so old many businesses in a row that should just be toilets and worthless bikes. The and entire <laughs> block should be set on fire. <laughs> Can I just say one thing that really yeah. really gets me down? Yeah. When I walk into a store and there's no music playing at all, and it's the most awkward fucking that's, shit. That's depressing. No, it's not depressing. It just puts you on the spot because then they, they notice you walk in because it's so quiet. Then yeah. all attention is on you, and they're like, "Hello," and you're just like well, that, that's waving the, at them like a fucking idiot. That's the stressful part about going into small stores. Yeah, that's you, you walk in, you're the only one there. The owner is, has his eyes locked on you. There's no music, oh, God. and now you're forced like, "Oh God, I have to like, like buy something." Right? That's like, a over. reason why I don't like going into stores that I'm yeah, not used yeah, to because yeah. I'm really terrified of the first experience, like if they're gonna be so on me. Because remember when we ate at that Thai place and like. Like, mm. the first time we ate there, these just these people were just like, my mom made that, she's back there, she wants to know how it is, they keep coming back uh, to see how the food is, it's yeah, just like, yeah. fuck off, it's like, oh. you're gonna guilt trip me so I never want to come back here? I, I don't want to go to your fucking clothes store with three racks ever again, <laughs> because you, you were trying to guilt trip me because your grandma died in these clothes, I didn't want them to begin with. We should say, say um, please, yeah, please. there's probably like some kids in like Africa yeah. getting hacked up with machetes right now, I, we're complaining I, about walking into a store. Look, it's like, yeah, but we weren't born there. We have our own problems. That doesn't eliminate I feel our bad. problems. I also feel bad too <laughs> because it's like when, when we're writing with like Tom and stuff and we're just looking at these businesses, mm. like these like home doctor office where it says doctor, it's just like a home. Like maybe people like yeah. that. Yeah. But it's just so weird because you see like banks that are just look like they're just condos. It's like I'm not going to go into a condo that's a bank. We, it makes me feel uncomfortable. We were making the, we were, we were talking with Tom in the car the other day about driving down the street and we see businesses that have been there for years, but we just can't imagine anybody going into them. Yes. They don't look like a business somebody would actually walk into. Yeah. I have a good one. Like, yeah, always been there. That's weird. Dude, near us, there's a place that, like, it looks like a house, and it says, um, we burn DVDs. <laughs> really? The sign outside it. Yeah, I swear to God. It's illegal. It says, we, we burn DVDs. Oh, wow, I'm gonna go to this it, fucking creepy looking house. <laughs> DVD. I got, uh, can I get Sandlot? <laughs> we walk in, and then they fucking... That's a good move. They fucking have a machete already ready for your tendons on it. <laughs> You're right on your fucking because you're a freak who goes to a place that says we burn DVDs. Or they hold a machete up to a DVD. They're just waiting for you on the side. Like, <laughs> like where you reach. They have a Pee Wee Herman Ryan like, shack. They expect you to like steal things. their fucking one dollar DVD so they'll hold a machete up to you. Yeah, they have these DVD. They have just like a nice like old lady maroon like dark wooded room. Corey. And they just have DVDs sitting on a desk and you go up to it and there's, Wait, there's like a, a pile of DVDs. There's like a Pee Wee Herman machete thing that goes like this. So if you walk, it cuts your fucking tendons. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna go through that much effort for. No one's getting repeat business that way. <laughs> but, uh, terrible yeah. business. That's what it feels like when you see places like that. My dad owns, like, cheap stores. <clears throat> yeah, see, I, I'm and not it's trying really to... it's awkward to walk into stores like that for yeah. me, especially. But I'm not trying to, like, insult small businesses. No, I know it's hard to